So this problem 6.1 is we have here, you know, in the circuit of figure 6.3a, that is the, uh, you know, inverting amplifier, Rn is equal to 50 ohms, Ci is equal to 0.1 microfarad, R1 equal to 100, RF equal to 1 kilo ohm, RL equal to 100, supply voltage as a plus or minus 15 volts, determine the bandwidth of the amplifier. Okay, so 6.3a is what we are talking about. 6.3a is here. 6.3a is this. So this is the AC inverting amplifier. You can see that it is the inverting amplifier because input is connected to the negative point and gain turns out to be V0 equal to minus RF by R1 into V in. So at that time, we will have the value of the, what you call, you know, uh, what input resistance as R1 itself equal to 100 ohms, okay? RIF is equal to R1, that is equal to 100 ohms for the, what you call, uh, inverting amplifier that we can find out from the inverting amplifier, uh, you know, uh, solution where we have found out in the, uh, you know, uh, uh, third chapter. Okay, we can go back to the third chapter and see where it is, right? Input resistance with feedback is what we had written there. And in this, we had written here that, you know, the value of the RIF is equal to R1. Okay, this I had shown RIF is equal to R1. This is not plus, it is equal to our exact value you can find this so we will go for this we will go for this rather than this so that is what is done there so let me go back to the output resistance will be equal to r naught by you know one plus a beta but we might uh, you know uh, that is not the value which is needed uh, there so let us go back to the Two not four page where we were earlier. Okay, so we were here. So therefore, the value of the source resistance R in is equal to R not equal to fifty ohms. Therefore, from equation six point one, six point one is one by two pi. This is C in. This is equal to the you know r i f plus the or rather r1 plus the r i f plus r naught r i f plus r naught that will be 100 plus 150 r i f plus r naught that we can see by just going back here yes r i f plus r naught okay so we'll again come Fine, so the internet is creating a lot of problem. Fine, so now having finished EFL, then we go for finding the FH. The AF value is for the inverting amplifier minus RF by R1, that will give us minus 10. The high frequency cutoff FH is given by FH is equal to UGB into K by AF. This is the formula for inverting amplifier. UGB is 10 to the power of uh, 6 because of the reason that, you know, we might have taken the uh, 714, 714C uh, op amp. If it is 741, then it is 0.6 megahertz, okay? So however, that you need not bother, the value should be given to you to get the value. Values will change. So please remember that in the internal, okay? So, FH is equal to UGB into K by AF. So UGB is one meg. K value is found out here. You know, uh, where is the K value? RF by R1 plus RF. Uh, this is 100, this is one. RF is one divided by 100 plus one, that is 100 ohms plus one kilo ohm will give 
1 by 1.1 that will be 0 0.909 if we have found out to be minus rf by r1 that is equal to uh, 10 right hence all throughout will get here as 90.9 kilohertz difference between fh and the fl value which we have found here will give us the bandwidth will give us the, give us the bandwidth so we should follow the same procedure when we try to solve the problem which is at the 6.3 you know 6.3 uh, b okay 6.3 b is it is it this okay it's the bandwidth of the uh, 6.3 b is when you talk about 6.3 b it is non inverting amplifier that's the only difference it's the non inverting amplifier yeah so rn earlier we saw a inverting amplifier now it is the non inverting amplifier let us see whether the non inverting amplifier solution is also given no it is ac amplifier with single supply voltage okay so non inverting might not have been okay it is this is non inverting right this looks like yes non inverting only right non inverting also one example is given to us here so we can uh, go through that and then we can see the solution for this because this is non inverting this is inverting right so let us go through the non inverting also for the non inverting amplifier of figure 6.4 c rn is equal to 50 ohms c1 equal to point uh, okay this is non inverting of 6.4 c whereas this is you know 6.3 b right so that's the difference there so when this is you know when we are trying to solve this over here 3 b we cannot go for that because that might be a little different right so let us not bother about that so is this there in our syllabus let us see here 6.3 6.3 is it there in our syllabus no 6.3 is not there only 6.2 is there 6.3 is not there we are jumping to 6.5 directly so 6.3 we will not do right it should depend upon 6.2 only so when we talk about 6.2 only we should take the formulas corresponding to that so rn is equal to 50 ohms c1 equal to 0 0.0 one microfarad but it is non-inverting r1 equal to one kilo ohm rom is equal to 820 ohms rf is equal to 5.6 gain gain means one plus rf by r1 non-inverting amplifier one plus rf by r1 is the gain corresponding to this then bandwidth corresponding to this we should be able to you know again go for the bandwidth with feedback and without feedback okay so now again we can try to find out with respect to this this is ci this is ci and correspondingly we can go back and check how to find that Okay, so the what you call FL value will be just this FL is equal to 1 by 2 pi CI RI F plus R naught. Use this formula only for FL. Okay, use this formula only for FL RIF. You need to find then RI R in is equal to R naught is what we should take and then find the value of FL. FL is not going to change, FL is not going to change. FL will be same whether it is a you know uh, what you call inverting amplifier or a non-inverting amplifier but FH is going to change FH is going to change how it is going to change we can just try to find out from the you know I think might be it is already there in the uh, what you call UGB I think it will be there in the three point uh, you know chapter 3 so here 
the difference would be here you have UGB into K by AF, right? FH is equal to UGB into K by AF is the value here, but there it might be for the inverting, uh, for the non-inverting amplifier, it will be different. So let us see for the non-inverting amplifier what it is by going back to 101 or two again. So this is the, what is this? This is inverting amplifier, but we want non-inverting amplifier. Inverting amplifier, we had the bandwidth, right? So this was K by AF, this is inverting. Non-inverting, we'll go back and check. Okay, so it is FF into F naught plus one plus A beta. This is one way of doing it. Or you can use this also. UGB is given to you. FF is equal to UGB by AF. Okay, from this you can find out FF is equal to UGB by AF. UGB, you know, unity gain bandwidth. And AF, you know, AF you have found out, which is equal to for a, you know, non-inverting amplifier, it is one plus RF by R1. Use that and find out the value of the FF. So from this formula, you can just find out the value of FF. So, okay, the FF is equal to UGB by AF. So once you find out that, you just have to find the difference between the two. Okay, difference between the two. Okay, that, that is, that will give you FH and FH minus FL. Okay, so uh, that uh, that is how we can try to find out. So FF will be equal to FH minus the FL value is what we need to find out. Right. So this is FL and this is FH. Only difference is UGP by AF. AF is 1 plus RF by R1. So use that and find out the value of the FH and then uh, subtract the FL, you'll get the value of the, what you call bandwidth. So that's how you can find it. Inverting amplifier, okay, 6.4A he is giving, this is out of the scope of the syllabus because we don't have that 6.3 which, within which 6.4A is there, right? So we'll not go for this, we'll not go for this. Next, what do we have in the syllabus? If you just see, we have the 6.5. So 6.5, let us go through the 6.5. What is there? Summing, scaling, averaging amplifier. So corresponding to this, do we have a topic to discuss? You know, numericals within that, let us try to see. So figures corresponding to that will be, is there a figure here? Figure 6.6 .6 onwards. So figure 6.6 .6 onwards, do we have here figure 6.6? 6 .6. 6.5 out of the scope, only after 6.6. .6. Okay, in the circuit of figure 6.6, .6, VA equal to 100, VB equal to minus 200, VC is equal to 300, R0 equal to 3 kilo ohm, RB equal to 2.2, RC is equal to 1 kilo ohm, RF equal to 4.7, ROM is equal to 470, RL equal to 10 kilo ohms. Determine the output voltage. Okay, so how do you find that? Go back to the 6.6 .6 figure 
formula is this v naught is equal to minus rf by ra into va plus rf by rb into vb plus rf by ra into vc so use this formula to find out the value of v naught some of them voltages might be positive some of them might be negative so va is positive vb is negative vc is positive ra is given ra rb rc is given rf is also given right so we need to just you know rf is there in the numerator ra rb rc are there in the corresponding denominators substitute in this formula and get the result substitute in this formula and get the result i hope it is clear okay i hope it is clear to get the value of the you know uh, what you call output so temporarily i will just stop the share and copy this you know print screen okay we are running out of time Okay, I can show uh, the last class this thing. Okay, fine, no problem, whatever it is. So now, so we have here, you need to substitute in this and get the value. Okay, so now let us go to the what you call next part which is given there output is over identify the circuit from its operation right identify the circuit from its operation so what is the circuit here okay the circuit here here you can say that it is you know three inputs you know summing amplifier scaling amplifier or averaging amplifier okay is it a summing amplifier is it a scaling amplifier or is it a you know uh, what you call averaging amplifier what type of amplifier is it that is what we need to so it is corresponding to the scaling amplifier okay because values are different you can see that you know all these values are given it's different ra rb rc are different and you know some of them are uh, you know positive some of them are negative all that so you can say it is a combination of all of them identify the circuits for its operation so you can't say it is a scaling also it is rather you know addition as well as subtraction as well as scaling okay so uh, that is what it is doing there repeat the problem 6.6 .6 for ra equal to rb equal to rc equal to 1 kilo ohm okay rf is equal to 4.7 now he is telling ra rb rc is equal to 1 kilo ohm now for this if he tells you know what is the circuit and its operation then it is more logical than for this because here you know you have addition subtraction everything together but now if you have all of this as 1k what you are doing is you are having same amplification 4.7 by 1 so you are having amplification and some of them you are adding and some of them you are subtracting but here you have variable amplification for each of those signals okay variable amplification for each of those signals for this so it is illogical asking identify the circuits for its operation let us not bother about this b part okay fine 6.7 is to be used in the circuit of 6 is to be used as an average amplifier with the following specifications va equal to vb equal to 1.5 vc equal to 3 volts r1 equal to r equal to 1.5 and v naught equal to 5.2 determine the required value of rf so you want a averaging amplifier averaging amplifier means you should be having va plus bb plus vc by 3 as the final solution okay you need the output to be that but now you 
what should be the value of rf so that you will get the average of that so average if you see of all these three va plus vb plus vc okay va is 1.5 vb is 1.5 vc is 3 so therefore if you add it will become 6 6 by 3 will give me 2 volts so finally i should be able to get 2 volts to get 2 volts for the what you call values which are given over here with r1 equal to r equal to 1.5 what should be the value of rf what should be the value of rf so what you should write you know you should be able to write you should be able to write the value there as you know 1.5 in you know uh, uh, rather you can write rf by r1 rf by r1 is equal to rf by r1 uh, into you know va plus vb plus vc is equal to the value 2 okay va plus vb plus vc is equal to 2 or because you are averaging three quantities you can just try to write you know uh, 6.7 he is trying to write is it not so so you should be able to write 6.7 figure you just let us see what it is over here then it will be more clear yes it is here right see the the averaging value summing is this 6.7 where it is averaging circuit right averaging circuit okay figure 6.6 6.7 .6. Oh, this is 6.7 6.7 is the what you call non-inverting you know amplifier 6.7 is non-inverting amplifier so now this quantity v naught should be 1 plus rf by r1 va plus vb plus vc by 3 okay this is what you want averaging means you want this for the case of okay 6.7 he is writing where is it yes 6 uh, dash 8 figure 6 is va plus va vb equal to 1.5 vc equal to 3 volts r1 equal to 1.5 you know v naught equal to 5.2 volts okay determine the required value of rf okay to be used as a you know uh, averaging amplifier with the following values now how can this be an averaging amplifier where we have this so we are given v naught we are given the r1 rf we are giving vba vb vc we need to find rf forget about this term average amplifier only the circuit is to be taken so this circuit is to be taken for this circuit it is 1 plus rf by r1 va plus vb plus vc by 3 okay v naught is equal to 1 plus rf by r1 VA plus VB plus VC by 2. So this is 1.5, 1.53 by 3. Okay, that will give 2. This is 5.2 is equal to 1 plus RF by R1 value is given to us, which is 1.5 kilo ohm, right? So substitute in this R1, 1.5 kilo ohm, 5.2 is the value for the output which is given here, and the value of the 1.5, 1.5, and 3 are given over here. So that will give us, you know, the uh, only unknown, which is RF. So within this formula, you substitute all the values and get the final value. So within this formula, you substitute this formula or this formula, whatever you call it. You substitute all the values V0, A, V, B, V, C, R1, only unknown is RF only unknown is rf so thus we can solve this problem 6-8 okay then 6.9 6.9 is let us see what is 6.9 i think unless we don't see the okay figure is what figure is also 6.9 right figure is also 6.9 problem is also 6.9 Oh, this is subtractor. 
6.8 summing amplifier 6.5 3b okay summing amplifier 6.9 is this fine 6.9 is this do we have it in our syllabus yes 6.5 whole thing is there so if whole thing is there we need to do the whole thing okay okay only one minute is left out of our total time right not much time is left for us so let us see whether we can finish that otherwise we'll take up in the next class right so in this 6.9 va vb vc vd is given r1 and rl determine the output voltage v0 this is a very simple problem because straight away you need to substitute in this okay you need to substitute in this and get the final value okay there is nothing much there only substitute those r1 rl will have no consequence in the figure you need to just substitute this and get the value of v0 okay this finishes 6.9